Gotta catch them all, Pokemon fans. Welcome to another Playscape Games video. And today we are here testing a new post-rotation deck. So a uh, big shout out to the lovely old Mando Cervantes who went uh, five and two, five two what um, five one one. Sorry, five of one in the Hegster uh, post-rotation tournament that they did. So I'm going to put a link in the description to the Hegster TCG. Uh, YouTube channel, I think I'll put, yeah, put a link to that, and you can also see some of the other deck lists, but he was playing ADP with Decidueye, I was so excited to see this, made top 8 from like 70 odd players, so big old tournament, he had to w win quite a few games, so there's definitely some mileage in this deck, and it possibly might be the best way to play Decidueye, so obviously we, the core of the game is always to start off with your ADP, put energies on it, and then uh, put, put metal and water energy and use the altered creation, get to take two prize cards instead of one for every time you knock out a non poke, non GX, non GX or V Pokemon, or uh, like four prizes if you knock out a V Max. But, um, and then after that, you've got, you try and get your Rowlet sort of powered up. You can your ultimate ray onto the Rowlet, onto the Decidueye, but because it's only got two energies, you can just manually attach to it, it's fine. So the big reason we like Decidueye is because it's got that deep forest camo ability, which stops all damage done to it by Pokemon V and Pokemon GX. So Eternatus can't knock it out, um, Zash and V can't knock it out, all of the big hitters can't knock it out. Um, the only thing we have to kind of worry about most of the time once this is set up is if they are playing the Volcanion. So the Sender Scorch and the Fire Dex might be playing the Volcanion, but we do have one copy of Weakness Guard Energy which we can find through the Tag Call and Guzmer and Haller engine. To potentially means that with our, after we've used uh, ADP's GX attack, we can flip flip the GX flip the GX counter, and split an arrow will be doing enough to one shot the Volcanium. So they're not one shotting us, and we can watch on them. So we should be a, potentially okay on that. I haven't had a chance to test that matchup just yet, but um, yeah, just other sort of normal um, sort of things here. It's a Green's exploration engine, so. Um, you can use this to find your rare candies, your energy spinners to get more energies out, and all that other good stuff. And yeah, it's just, it just seems that, and yeah, free Rosa, because we're playing like Rowlets and stuff, they can get knocked out quite easily. Or if someone manages to take a turn to KO on our, on our uh, ADP, we can then use this to get rare candy, like the Sidui energy, and start smacking or whatever. So yeah, it's, it's a very strong deck. Um, I've only made one change from the top eight list. I thought I'd go for an extra route, or an extra Dartrix because we got the Turfield Stadium. And I believe it will be, make it just, you can just sort of get your get your owls up earlier. So we're going to give this a go and um, see how we get on. And yeah, that is, uh, that is free water energies hidden behind there. We'll put the link in the um, list in the description as well if you want to have a go. So yeah, we built like seven or eight post-rotation decks now. And... It's post rotation doesn't come so the stuff between Ultra Prism and Lost Thunder doesn't rotate out until this Friday. So we might still see some um, new some older cards in this game, but um, we're going to be testing all of the decks on our YouTube channel and um, sorry on our Twitch channel twitch.tv forward slash Playscape Games, and uh, you can see us play you can see us play all the new decks and stuff. So this is a bit of spice here. We got a like a colossal, maybe Sandaconda type deck, and he's using the new shiny secret rare one from uh, Darkness of Blazer, which is quite cool. So I'm not sure how this matchup's going to go, but um, I think the colossal can still one shot our Rowlets. We might our Decidueye, so we might be in a bit of trouble. Well, I see. We'll see how this goes. So starting Deancey, see, so yeah, Deancey rotates obviously, but I don't think the, the maths, the extra twenty damage, isn't really going to help him that much in this matchup. I don't think. So I, I believe Colossal does at least one forty. So yeah, we want to make sure we get our ADPs down first. So I'm going to use the tag call, and because we haven't, uh, let's have a think, so we don't really, we've got the energy spinner for the water and the metal, so we don't desperately need to get the Guzma Haller, so I might just get the Mallow and Lana, just in case we need to switch, I think that's fine. We can actually also use Guzma and Haller to get Turfield Stadium next turn, potentially. Um, yeah, I think, I think Guzma and Haller is still a bit more flexible in this situation. So we'll just do this, we'll stick the metal energy here and I think that's probably fine. I might use this opportunity to get another Rowlet down now just in case this he sort of pokes this. I think that's fair to say, yeah. So we've got the metal energy here, so we don't need to we probably won't need another metal energy unless he unless he plays crushing hammers or something. So we get two Rowlets down. And yeah, there's there's like I believe three Rowlets in standard format you can use post rotation. There's like three different Rowlets you can use. I I'm not I'm still on the fence about which one's best, but I do like the the be able to use this one for the hide and seek effects. So you can basically like you know 
just like like the like for the old Froki from from uh, Breakpoint, you know, the bubble ones, just stopping anything done doing done. I think that par they might have paralyzed anyway, but. Oh, Marnie is one of the en enemies of a greens deck. And as you can see here, this is pretty bad for us. For, mm, the Rosa, we kind of want him to take a KO because, yeah, we're not doing much here. What we could do, though, is we could put an energy here. And so that way we'll be able to Ultimate Raid potentially after. Ultimate Raid potentially after the Alter Creation's done. Instead of just putting energy on like Rowlet and stuff. So we kind of want this to get knocked out because the Rosa's here. Yeah, I think that's fine. So I'll just put the energy here put another burb here and we will pass and we, we need to hope he's gonna you know knock into us and trigger our rosa so we can get our energy cards for our alter creation and potentially like a rare candy and start powering up a decidua although i might opt for another draw supporter i think now nah, i think the rare candy is probably more important so he's got his rare candy let's just see how much this does it does 130 great it's not one shot in our decidua that's really good news i and it's weak to grass as well. Let's go. That's great. I've honestly thought that that thing did like one, 140 damage. But because of like fighting colourless, colourless, colourless. If it had like fighting, fighting colourless, colourless. It might be like 140. But we're very lucky in that regard. So we should be okay here. Oh, is he going to knock us out? Yeah. The Deancey actually helps us. <laughs> oh, wait. No, with the 30. Oh, he would have only done 40 damage, actually. Yeah, so that was actually. It's lucky we had. Um... I'll get that. Because I don't think he can one-shot me. So 130, so he's doing 200, two, wait, 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 220, 230, 250. So he's not one-shotting this either. So we yeah, will get hopefully another chance to ultimate rain next turn, which is great. So water energy, rare candy, and some kind of Pokemon. Maybe a Dartrix. Yeah, that seems fine. Um, that seems so strong. The Rosa is very strong in this deck. Um, hopefully we've still got a water energy in here. Lovely. We didn't have the water energy. And I'll be I'll be very sad. So, I think we're in a very strong position at this point. And we can just green to the next turn and um, get a Turfield Stadium and get another get another um, one. That's, that's great. I'm very happy with how this game's going so far. So, yeah. I kind of also maybe want to play another Grass Energy, so it makes better for Ultimate Ray. We only play two Grass Energies, free Water, free Metal, but mo the main thing is getting the ADP powered up, because most of these decks don't have quick answers for Decidueye. So, I think two Grass might be fine, because we've got the free Aurora Energies as well. Just using Marnie there. That's rather unfortunate, but, like... Got Dart. We've got Turfield. We can get we can get two decisions up. Like I don't know how he's gonna make his way through through two decisions. I really don't. Depends what the Cynthia and Caitlin gets us, but it might even end up just. Oh, oh yeah. We can't use greens now because obviously the decisions are. So that's not actually too bad. We can just um, use the Cynthia and Caitlin to. I mean, I might keep the. What we should have done is we use the Turfield Stadium first, obviously. Take one card out of the deck, and then we get less likely to draw into more stuff. I'm going to keep this Stadium, just in case um, he puts another Martial Arts Dojo down. Yeah, we got a Water Energy. Great. Ooh, we can actually use the Spinner. to um, Grass Energy. Yeah, we can actually use the Spinner. So we can just use the Metal to attack with. Um, no, we use the Water the water attack with, because we need Water Energy for Ultimate Ray. And then... So we use the Turfield Stadium first, obviously, to get this out. Because um, I really don't care about... Because he needs to knock out the two owls anyway, so I really don't care if he knocks out this decision. And then... Oh, wait, this, these are weak to grass anyway. Wow. Like, it just, this, this seems to be a very easy matchup for us, I think. Unless he's playing Volcanion, because they run fire energies with, to use with the um, Colossus Tar Generator. So let's just use an ultimate ray there. See what happens. See, see, get some energies out. Grass, water, perfect. Because we've got the metal energy in hand, I can just put the grass here and the water here, and we can just attach to this one. Well, we're in a very good space. Here. Not all the matchups are going to be this easy, but I just wanted to use this as like a general, show you guys a general idea of like how how the deck rolls and like potentially what you should do, and maybe some sort of potentially other ideas for techs. I might want to throw grass energy. I might want to thicken out the decidueye, decidueye line a bit more. But I think, I think two, I think two Dartrix is, is good. You see how it was very useful there, having having the extra Dartrix just in case one was prized. Yeah, and if we can get a boss's orders and knock this out, I think we just win. To be honest, um, 
So let's put the energy here. Use our rose. We can get a boss for next turn, I guess. And we could reset stamp him. Reset stamp would also be quite damning, I think. But he's going to attack with his colossal anyway at some point. But then we've got we've got another. Yeah, I think I think we're okay regardless. Um, reset stamp or boss. Reset stamp or boss. I think the stamps more 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 sort of hurts him a lot more here. I would say. And uh, do we have any more Pokemon in the deck? Yeah, we've got another L. We can use that as discard fodder, I guess. Seems to be going very well so far. And because we've used an um, ADP's GX attack, that should be a one shot. So I don't even know where I don't even know where. To, oh, we can just slowly knock that out on the bench, I guess. Yeah, 240 damage. Look at that. So once again, not all the matchups will be this easy, but I just just a slight an idea to show you how the deck rolls and. Uh, yeah, big shout out to the lovely once again. Yeah, there we go. Big shout out once again to Armando Cervantes, who played this in the Hexter tournament. So we're going to take one more look at the list quickly. Okay, so we're going to show you one more game. And because I thought that was a bit one-sided. Normally I just like to show you like one decent game, but that, that, was, that was a bit just one-sided. So maybe we'll come up against another match, like a more sort of relevant tier one matchup, potentially. We can see how the deck performs. Like show you maybe against Eternatus or Zaffin ADP would be quite cool. So, so, okay, so the, the Dene does not tell us anything. But look, he's actually using a Rowlet coin. So he's like he's sending us some extra luck with his Rowlet coin. Isn't that amazing? So that's a very slow start for him. We, I think we've got a very good hand here. Unfortunately, I'm a bit worried about this getting knocked out. Um, but we'll have... We'll be able to use Cynthia and Caitlyn hopefully maybe draw into another... Draw into another... Um, draw into another Rowlet if we're lucky. So Cynthia and Caitlyn... You can't get the card back you discarded. So we're going to be using the Attach and the Water Energy here. I like keeping Turfield down. I will use the Turfield first, I guess, to thin the thin the hand out a little bit. In case, also in case we like get Candy next turn, we draw into the Rowlet this turn. So Cynthia and Caitlin will um, discard this Water Energy. So hopefully we can get a quick ball of Rowlet. No, we got another Decidueye. So we're going to have to hope for a bit of luck. Hope you can't knock this route out. It's extremely unlikely based on like crazy electric deck peak or on or whatever it is. How many cards has it got in hand? It's got uh, eight cards in hand. I'm going to go for a risky reset stamp. Eight to six. See if that see if that maybe slows him down a little bit. And uh, yeah. Hopefully PECGO and it's shuffling algorithm will draw him into a whole bunch of jank. But it's okay because we're going to need to be spending one turn anyway to use altered creations. So we're not ready. We don't need to rush to get the. Um, we don't need to rush to get the Rowlet out straight away. But it would have been nice to have had to have had the Rowlet down for this turn because you see, like we got Candy Decidueye. I'll just like evolve it into a Dartrix if we needed to. Okay, so I just realised we've been having a whole game without any PECGO music. I'm sure you guys have all missed that. Right, so let's have a look. Okay, greens for, yep, greens for quick ball. Oh, uh, we got this. Mm, he's going to be very aggressive, but we're going to be get we're going to be getting the altered creation off. That's always happening, but hmm, yeah. Oh, he was just able to <laughs> static shock. Wow. Ooh, we don't need these big charms now, though. So if that was a rose, I'd be so much more happier because that guarantees the water energy. But we have to use one of these greens just to get the stupid energy spinner. So um, we got to hope that he can't one-shot us, Oko, us next turn. And that's our hope, to say hope that he doesn't one-shot us next turn and we get an extra turn to set up because we really can't do too much. Can't really do too much of this. So energy spinner, I think, is always needed, and probably the quick ball to get down the route. Oh no, we we need yeah. We energy gives us the alt creation, so we get down the again. If we get down the quick ball, we're not gonna have any follow ups. We can't need like a draw support or something next turn. So I'm gonna Marnie or Gizmahalo. Marnie or Gizmahalo. Yeah, I think probably another greens for next turn actually. Just get guarantee the alt creation this turn, and uh, yeah, we can also thin thin the deck out a little bit. Hope make hope make our top deck slightly better. Oh yeah, and because the big charm is it's even less likely he's going to take a one shot, so hopefully we can do all right. If he knocks us out, we probably lose anyway, so I don't think there's any reason to bench this because he could end up stalling it out. Um, 
He's gonna have to. He's gonna need like tag bolt plus a whole bunch of like. He's gonna need all four of his electric powers. That's not likely to happen. So this is a bit. This will be a bit more of a closer or a longer game. If he knocks me out here, obviously he probably wins. But <laughs> I, I, I can't see that happening. So yeah, we very much rely on like naturally drawing into our Rowlets early on. I, I have been thinking about going second in this deck, but ADP, you really want to get that energy quickly and you want to get that Alter Creation off quickly. And because it's not like an energy switch, like Metal Saucer type deck, you, can't, you don't really have any means in which to do that. Yeah, it's just going to be, a, it was always just going to be a full blitzer. Potentially we could have gone for Boss's Orders and just gone for like a classic Ultimate Race strategy, but I don't think that would have helped as much. So, greens for Quick Ball, Quick Ball, I think. We still haven't got any follow-up, so if we do that, we're like we're gonna be screwed. Um, he will just. I think he was just gonna use boss's orders on our Rowlet. We only put down one Rowlet. But then, like, what do we do for next turn? Oh, we can. We got Dartrix. We can slowly start building them up, I guess. Oh, this is quite a. This is quite a bad situation for us to be in. I think. I think we've got to hope for the top deck next turn. Do an ultimate ray. Start powering up these guys. I think that's the best way to go about it. Just put, I mean, we need to put we need we need to put two but then he's got tag bolt, so oh man, I think we're in a very bad spot regardless. So I'm gonna just put I'm just gonna do put my my instinct tells me to put two rowlets down, so that's what we're gonna do. If he gets the boss, we probably just lose, but maybe you wanna knock this out, I don't know. We'll have to see. So, Turfields, in case we top deck a candy, I guess. Or we can. No, we got. We know we've got Dartrix. He's probably going to knock out one, at least one of these anyway. I'm glad it tells you which energy you can attack, because if you've got multiple energies to Ultimate Ray, it's kind of. It might get a bit confusing. So, yeah, this is very much a sticky situation we found ourselves in here. Not having a route, you can see like the difference between not having a route at turn one. Um, unfortunately, I don't think other than I don't know, other than maybe going second and nah, but then they're gonna be out there, gonna be knocking your route out. I think you have to hope you have at least one route in your hand or a quick ball turn one. If you don't, you're gonna be in a bit of a problem, I think. So, this is why I think it's possibly only maybe like a strong tier two deck as opposed to tier one because just for consistency reasons, Marnie still screws over these greens exploration decks. <gasps> He's only knocking out one. Oh, can we please top deck a rare candy? That would make me so happy. Or a Rosa. I thought he was going to go for the double tag bolt. Come on. Come on, Rosa, a rare candy. Ar Arceus. There's Arceus down there. Arceus, bless our draws. Hard of the cards. Cynthia and Caitlin might be able to get us a rare candy. I was thinking, like, what can we do with this tag call? <laughs> Oh, we don't have Cynthia Caitlin. I think we've lost. Um, so what I actually ended up cutting from his list was one copy of Cynthia and Caitlin, but I think we've, I think we've, um, we've prized both copies of Cynthia and Caitlin. Okay, that's just PECGR and G there. So uh, uh, I think we've probably just lost this one. I don't know what else we can get with Grismahal. I don't think we can get anything else with Grismahal. Let's just double, double check. Um, Turfield energy. Uh, I don't think. There is one out. We can buy ourselves one turn with hide and seek. One turn. Ah, so that's the that's unfortunately not a great showing for the for the um, ADP birds deck in this game. But you can see like how easy and quick it was to set up in the first game. We desperately just need to find a rally in here. We've just got a little bit on that. And our two Simpson and Caitlin's were prize as well. So once again, here is the list. Um, I, I mean, obviously we were very unlucky there to prize prize the third Simper and Caitlin, but I could definitely see you know keep, if you want to keep it the same as the original list, you just take out you take out one of the dart tricks and then you add a third Simper and Caitlin. Um, I don't think there's any way really you can sort of build the deck that will help increase your turn one chances of fine Rowlet because we've lost Acrobikes and we've lost Pokenavs, so we won't be able to use those. But uh, 
yeah, I just thought to show you guys the show you guys the Decidueye ADP Birds sort of hybrid list thing that made top eight at the Hexter TCG tournament. Make sure you check out his link as well. Check out his YouTube channel, Hexter TCG. Link in the description. And uh, leave a comment below. What changes would you make to the ADP Birds deck? Would you want to go second? Any other supporters or item cards potentially that the lovely man didn't, didn't add in his top eight list? Let me know in the comments below and please remember to also uh, hit the subscribe button, ding the bell so you get notified when new videos come out. And yes, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon Pokemon fans, gotta catch them all. Thank you very much for watching the video. Remember, once we get to 1000 subscribers, we'll be giving away this beautiful Blastoise and Piplups GX Rainbow Rare card from Cosmic Eclipse. PSA 9 graded, very hard to find. We're getting very close now, so make sure you hit that subscribe button, support the channel, and one of you lovely people could be winning this amazing card. Thank you very much, and I'll see you soon, Pokemon fans. Gotta catch them all.